What's happening everyone? Uh, we are back and we are starting to assemble most of our components together. So the eight foot birch rod I am spray painting black so that uh, it minimizes the appearance so you really just see the LEDs. What you're looking here is the Arduino board and I'm starting to put all the pin connectors into place uh, so that every wire that goes in um, uses a connector and then heat shrinking and soldering everything to protect it from the elements. All right, it's kind of what it looks like. Um, it comes, the, most Arduino boards will come with a row of these pin connectors and you use a, um, some cutters and you cut them either into smaller segments or just the ones that you need. So I am individually soldering just the ones I need, you know, for, for power or for power input and then power output and signal. Now, for my LED strip, they came with these um, uh, three pin kind of male and female connectors. I'm actually taking them apart, um, and you can do that by, um, I guess, pointing or pressing into the connector and pulling out the wire. And that wire, uh, the little metal lead at the end, uh, fits perfectly over those pin connectors. So. I'm just going to solder them and heat shrink them together to make sure that obviously we don't have any short circuits um, and then we are going to uh, start putting all the wiring together into one big bundle essentially. My LED wires all have um, three, or my LED strips have three wires, right? The red, uh, the green, and the white. And so I bundled the four strips together and I'm combining them into one common wire or one common bundle that has a quick disconnect, uh, if you can see right there on the right hand side. Um, and then at the end of those wires are the pin connectors that go to the Arduino board. And that way, um, I have an easy way to um, disconnect and reconnect if I have to troubleshoot or I want to prevent it from turning on or something like that. Um, it just makes for a simpler operation. It also makes for much cleaner wiring um, to the board itself, and that way I can bundle this stuff together and wrap it uh, kind of neatly on the LED totem when it's all complete. Uh, on to some of the more fun stuff. So we got a um, a disco ball from Spencer's for like 20 bucks and I am going to remove some of the top of the uh, the glass of the um, the reflective um, pieces large enough for my birch rod to slide through right so it's about an inch and a half in diameter when I measured it and I'm just kind of guessing and um, uh, taking away material a little bit at a time I want a really snug fit because uh, there isn't much really to hold this in place. We also think that the LEDs will kind of reflect nicely off of the disco ball. Should be pretty cool. All right, now comes the first round of assembly. So disco balls in place. I have those aluminum strips kind of um, surrounding the disco ball and we took off the plastic backing or we took off the uh, adhesive backing on the LED strip and we are attaching them now to uh, the aluminum strips on the outside. We tried it on the inside so that the LEDs were trying to reflect off the disco ball and the disco ball is what you kind of see um, flashing but that didn't exactly work as well as we thought it would just not enough light output to be seen from far away so we decided to put the LEDs on the outside and actually uh, later on in the video you'll see we added another set of four LED strips that are gonna spiral up through the center now transportation is also uh, an interesting thing right we have to transport this um, in the car to get to Vegas and so I cut the birch rod in half bought a plastic sleeve and put four bolts, two in the top and two in the bottom. And that way um, it serves as kind of like a, a disconnect or like a, 
a quick disconnect, if you will. So when the bolts are in, everything is rigid. When the bolts come out, uh, the birch rod comes apart in two pieces um, and it's much easier to transport in the trunk of a vehicle. I'm just kind of guessing here uh, in terms of what is center. It doesn't have to be super accurate. It's not like they're interchangeable parts. Um, I also didn't even bother to cut down the screws since they were too long. I just used what I had available in my, in my shop and went with it. And that's kind of it for this video today. Um, the next video we are going to be doing kind of final assembly getting the battery in place and, and lighting everything up um, with both sets of strips inside and outside for the first time. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe if you like what you're seeing, please like and comment, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.